I'm going to show you how to do traceroute on the internet using a Mac. In order to do this, you want to go down here to the Finder, and you want to go to Applications. You want to go to Utilities, and you can do that by using the Down button. And scan all the way down to Utilities. Double click on Utilities, and in this list of utilities, what you want to do is go down here to Network Utility. And here, click on Traceroute. Now I've already done a trace and you can see some of the information here. What I'm going to do is to put in at this location though another address. Depaul.edu. And then I either hit the enter key or click on the trace button. What you're seeing here is the various hops, that is the connections between one router and another as the signal that I've sent traverses these different routers finally winding up at Depaul. So it took 12 hops to do that and altogether it took about 85 to 90 milliseconds, that is 85 to 90 thousandths of a second in order to do this, about a tenth of a second. Let's try another one here. This one I know is someplace in the southern part of the United States where I host this zoom2.me, that redirection utility, and here I'm just going to hit the enter key And I had 16 hops at this point, and it took about 150 milliseconds, so about, oh, halfway between a tenth of a second and a twentieth of a second. It took longer to do all of this, but that was because the trace route utility was actually forcing every next packet to go the same route, and then measuring the time it took for the next step from there. So what you saw spill out on the screen took a lot longer than it actually took for any one packet to get there and back. Let's do one more, and this one is quite distant. This is the Vatican Radio, V-A-T-A-C-A-N-A, -A -A, Vaticana.org. And this, of course, is somewhere in Rome. Uh-oh. Looks like I spelled this wrong. Well, I did, and look what's happened. It doesn't know the host. So there's really a misspelling here. That should have been an I. And now we see this trace sort of getting stuck at one point here, or is it? Well, actually, this particular trace, you see the star here? It's indicated that it's kind of getting to the point where it can't go any farther. Let's see what happens, if it continues here or if it times out. Looks like it's timing out, and it looks like it had gotten here to New York, and it's not going much farther. I'm going to stop that. The reason for that is this utility is sometimes blocked by one side or another, because it is a bit of overhead just to try out the network in this way. I'm going to click the Trace button again and initiate another one of these traces. Let's see if this one gets any farther. Seems to always get blocked here at this transfer point to Italy. Well, let's try another one. Maybe it's just busy at this time. I'm going to try here bbc.com. That should be in London with the British Broadcasting System. Let's see if we get through here. And unfortunately, with this particular utility, as it's implemented on the Mac, it's a little difficult to tell if it actually ended successfully. It just sort of stops, and if you could recognize that it's at the place you wanted to be, then you're probably happy with the trace having succeeded. But there's nothing of an ending message here. That's how you do a trace route on the Macintosh. Now let's look at the PC. Now I'm going to show you how to do a trace route on the PC. This is a little bit different. You want to go down here on Windows 7 
to the Start button. And here in this little window that pops up for search, you put CMD. That stands for Command. When you hit the Enter key, you wind up at the DOS prompt. This is the way computers used to interact with people before Windows came along. And some of these hairier system types of things were still done this way rather than through a graphic interface. What we want to put here is T-R-A-C-E-R-T, -E trace route, and the name of the website we want to get to. Let's say once again, depaul.edu. I'll hit the Enter key, and we see these hops starting to peel out again. A little bit slower. For some reason, this is working slower in Windows. It's not that the Internet is any slower. It's that the utility as implemented on the machine is slower than you saw it on the Mac. But we do get this message here that says trace complete, which is kind of nice. Let me widen this out just a little bit. I can't widen it, but I can make it more complete vertically. Let's try another one. Let's do this one to Vatican Radio as we did before. And that's radio, V-A-T-I-C-A-N-A -A dot O-R-G. Press the Enter key. Remember the last time we did this, the thing timed out. It seemed to not be able to get much beyond New York. Now here, we seem to be getting stuck even more locally than that. But let's see what happens if we can get past New York with this reading into Italy. Here's where it got stuck before. And it looks like we're going to time out here too. That router is just not uh, responding to carry forth this uh, trace route. So now in order to end it, there's no handy stop button. What I've got to do is press Control C. Let's do the last trace route. And this one we did to bbc.com in London. And let's see if we can finish this one up with the message that says the route trace was completed. And here it is, and we're at this place in London. Now, I'm going to ask you to watch another video or two talking about trace route. Another one coming up includes some analysis of what you're seeing here on the screen and how this whole thing works.